Hey there everyone, I'm Michael Cuvet, the host of Expat Experts podcast. This video is extracted out of a longer interview that I had with Gabriel Perino, a Brazilian adopted by an Italian family who is now living in Greece as an automotive designer. So uh, can like maybe restructure it a bit, but let's see. I mean, it takes time now and still like no mm, company investing on that. And I'm like, I see like what can, can happen in the future, of course. Nice. Designing by sketching by hand or in 3D? Okay, okay. Um, to me, I always start with hand sketching uh, because, you know, I'm maybe directly on the paper and I, my, you know, I'm like with my fresh mind, my hands go like on the paper and sketch. And is the first approach I do, but of course today it's also good enough to the software we have to go directly on 3D as well. So you can sketch in three dimension, mm. and this uh, is an is different approach. But still, you let's say you kind of hand sketching, but in dif with the different tools. So let's say I call the pencil is a tool, you know, it's on paper like my hands on the paper like with pencil, um, but even like. 3D is like you can barely uh, sketch in designing and the 3D is like in three dimension. So um, I prefer like paper now just because maybe I like arts uh, and also artistic backgrounds mm. and you like go for something. Then you can always base a 3D on a sketch. The other way around, it's very different. Like it's nearly never happening. Like when you mm. are in the 3D approach, you never go back to sketching things. When you're in the sketching sure. things, you always are able of like go back and forth <laughs> until something is cool enough to transform it into a 3d you know i think that's... yeah exactly then in the process yeah you'd go back mm. and forth uh, but I, I like the the feeling oh, like, okay let's do some some lines something Pencil like on the paper enough. and uh, mm. and then of course i would immediately maybe go for see uh something on mm. the lab. computers like that it's nice. see the limits and what you can you know uh, make it better for uh, in, in the in like outline we have so cool yeah. so let's do a couple of questions more and then we close the episode mm -hmm. Ferrari or Lamborghini ah okay well Ferrari mm -hmm. because the color you know is red <laughs> so <laughs> Lamborghini so, doesn't right? have a, doesn't have a color you know like <laughs> No, but yeah, I, I have to see uh, being a quiet person, the Ferrari, <laughs> yeah, it's Lamborghini elegant, is aggressive, uh, it's aggressive. It's aggressive, but I mean, it's, yeah, also there is nice because they are two sport cars, but also the different way of they're approach. Diff of they're design, really you know? different, like really different. You, you can, you know, maybe you, you go for a Lamborghini or Ferrari, I mean, it's, it's really diverse, the, the style as well. And, but I mean, actually, if I imagine myself like trying a Ferrari, I see like, I don't know, like uh, a elegant Ferrari or, mm. uh, yeah, uh, of course, then it's red. So the color, <laughs> like Fitzy the Ferrari me. red, you know, like kind of Formula One, you know. <laughs> okay, last question and we will leave the episode here. Designing interiors or exteriors of cars? Okay. Hmm. I like interior a lot. Um, this is why um, the interior have interior have a lot of uh, components. I have to say mm -hmm. with a lot of material nowadays. Maybe you have a really diversity of material inside, and I like to spend more time to researching uh, what you can um, provide in, in an interior of the car because the user will stay inside the car like a lot most, you know, of, most time, of the yeah. time so it's now really important to think about uh, inside of uh, mm. the vehicle you know thinking about also in, in a house you live inside the house and you uh, build your comfortable place right so we like to to having Everything is like uh, easy to reach, to have, to be like, feel like you are home. So nice. yeah, the interiors I find more interesting for that. Sounds good. I mean, I mean it yeah. makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Like yeah. for me, there is something that it's always like been there, no? Like the 
the cars, we still pay a lot of attention onto the exterior of cars. And that's because we see them, like, because it's what it provides you the first sale point. You never know the interior of a car until you try to buy it most of the times. Um, it's the opposite of houses. Like, of course, you care a bit about how this house look outside, mm -hmm. but the most important is where you will be spending the time, which is the interior at the end. And that's where it arrives. True. Thinking about cars are moving. If the houses were moving, maybe also we'll take a look outside on the outside of the, of house, the house. No, no, you do. You do. Like yeah. you really do architecturally wise check the houses. Like, but even if your house was designed by Gaudi mm -hmm. outside, amazing architectural, like modernist thingy in Barcelona, central Barcelona thingy. If the interior looks like shit and you're spending most of your day inside of that place, not looking the facade of your building, mm -hmm. you don't give a shit because your place inside it still looks like shit. So it's it's a different conception, no? Like I think also like especially with with cars, there is also this perception of like you need to show to others, which your car is like is a, is an is showing off of the human, like, is an extension exactly. of ourselves. Yeah, like, uh, definitely. Um. Well, that crazy reflection on how if, if houses should move or not. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, Maybe in the future. <laughs> Gabriel, thank you so much for, for accepting and joining our podcast today and explaining all these stories and helping hopefully someone who wants to learn about automotive design. Yeah. Well, thank you for having me here in the podcast. And I'm really excited also that we, you know, we met here in Athens, you know, for... Uh, the include theater, but you know, it's like a good having good friends around the, the city. It's really nice, you know, in Athens and uh, and see, you know, like just two years here in in, uh, in Greece. Then you know, we'll see in the future how it goes. It's a nice city. Thank you so much for listening to everyone who is on the other side of the camera. Uh, thank you again, Gabriel, for so much. This is Expat Experts. Support this podcast by listening us in Podomo and subscribe in Spotify and YouTube. If you like it, this short video out of the full episode, you can find the link to it around here and in the description below. Of course, if you are also interested in checking out other episodes, please subscribe and like.